The working principle of a brain MRI, magnetic resonance imaging, involves the use of strong magnetic fields and radio frequency pulses to create detailed images of the brain's internal structures. Here is a step-by-step -step explanation of the basic principles underlying brain MRI. Alignment of hydrogen nuclei. The human body is composed mostly of water, which contains hydrogen nuclei, protons. When placed in a strong external magnetic field, such as the one created in an MRI machine, the hydrogen nuclei align themselves along the magnetic field lines. Radio frequency pulse. Excitation. Short bursts of radio frequency pulses are applied to the aligned hydrogen nuclei. These pulses have a frequency that matches the resonant frequency of hydrogen nuclei in the magnetic field. This causes the hydrogen nuclei to absorb energy and transition to a higher energy state. Gyroscopic motion. Once the radio frequency pulse is turned off, the excited hydrogen nuclei return to their original alignment, releasing the absorbed energy in the form of radio frequency signals. This process is known as relaxation. Signal detection. Sensitive radio frequency coils detect the emitted signals from the relaxing hydrogen nuclei. These signals carry information about the density and local environment of hydrogen nuclei in different tissues. Spatial encoding. Magnetic field gradients are applied during the MRI scan, causing slight variations in the magnetic field across the body. These gradients allow for spatial encoding, determining the location of signals and creating spatial information. Image reconstruction. The detected signals are processed by a computer to create detailed images of the brain. Different tissues in the brain produce varying signal intensities, resulting in contrast between structures like gray matter, white matter, and cerebrospinal fluid. Contrast enhancement. Contrast agents, if used, may be administered intravenously to enhance the visibility of certain structures or abnormalities in the brain. These contrast agents alter the relaxation times of tissues providing additional information in the images. Different pulse sequences. Various pulse sequences such as T1 weighted and T2 weighted sequences are employed to highlight different tissue characteristics and improve the diagnostic capability of the MRI. Functional MRI, fMRI. Functional MRI measures changes in blood flow and oxygenation levels in the brain during specific tasks. This information is used to map brain activity and identify regions associated with specific functions. How doctors can see inside our brain without surgery. Enter the world of magnetic resonance imaging, more commonly known as MRI. This non-invasive medical imaging technique uses strong magnetic fields and radio waves to generate detailed images of the brain. But what exactly are the uses of a brain MRI? Dive with us as we explore the different applications of this fascinating technology. Magnetic resonance imaging MRI of the brain is a powerful medical diagnostic tool that uses a magnetic field and radio waves to generate detailed images of the brain's internal structures. Here are some benefits and risks associated with brain MRI. Benefits Detailed Imaging MRI provides high-resolution images of the brain, allowing healthcare professionals to visualize structures such as the brain's white and gray matter blood vessels, and various abnormalities, non-invasive. Unlike some other imaging techniques, MRI does not use ionizing radiation, making it a non-invasive and generally safe option for diagnostic purposes. Versatility. MRI is versatile and can be used to detect a wide range of neurological conditions, including tumors, vascular abnormalities, infections, and structural abnormalities. Soft tissue differentiation. MRI excels at differentiating between different types of soft tissues, making it particularly useful for identifying abnormalities in the brain. Functional MRI, fMRI. 
In addition to structural imaging, functional MRI can assess brain activity by measuring changes in blood flow. This is valuable in mapping brain function and understanding neurological disorders. Risks Contrast agents In some cases, a contrast agent, gadolinium-based, may be used to enhance the visibility of certain structures in the images. While generally safe, there have been concerns about the retention of gadolinium in the body, particularly in individuals with impaired kidney function. Claustrophobia some individuals may experience claustrophobia inside the MRI machine, which is a large, tube-like structure. Open MRI machines are available to address this concern. Metal implants and objects. MRI uses a strong magnetic field, and individuals with certain metal implants or objects inside their body, such as pacemakers, cochlear implants, or metal fragments, may not be eligible for an MRI due to safety risks. Pregnancy concerns. While there is no conclusive evidence suggesting harm to the fetus, MRI is generally avoided during the first trimester of pregnancy, unless absolutely necessary. However, it is considered safe during later stages of pregnancy. Time and cost. MRI can be a time-consuming and relatively expensive procedure compared to some other imaging methods, and it may not be suitable for emergency situations. Firstly, MRI provides an unparalleled view of the brain's anatomy. It visualizes the overall structure, including the cerebral cortex, white matter, and deep brain structures, offering comprehensive images in multiple planes. Next, this technology proves vital in detecting abnormalities. It identifies and characterizes structural issues such as tumors, cysts, lesions, or vascular malformations within the brain. MRI also plays a critical role in assessing traumatic brain injury. It helps determine the extent of damage following accidents, falls, or other traumatic events. When a stroke occurs, time is of the essence. MRI aids in detecting and characterizing strokes by visualizing changes in blood flow, identifying affected regions, and assessing the impact on surrounding brain tissues. For conditions like multiple sclerosis, MRI is a game changer. It aids in diagnosis and monitoring by visualizing demyelination and lesions within the brain and spinal cord. Infections within the brain don't stand a chance against the MRI. It identifies signs of brain infections such as abscesses or encephalitis by visualizing inflammatory changes and abnormalities. For patients with epilepsy, MRI assists in evaluation by identifying structural abnormalities or lesions that may trigger seizures. A step further, MRI can visualize blood vessels within the brain, assessing conditions such as aneurysms or other vascular abnormalities. Functional MRI, a specialized type, investigates brain function by detecting changes in blood flow and oxygenation levels during specific tasks or activities. MRI also aids in the diagnosis and monitoring of neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. When it comes to the pituitary gland, MRI comes in handy for visualizing the gland and surrounding structures assessing for tumors or abnormalities that may affect hormone production. In preoperative planning, MRI provides detailed information for neurosurgeons to plan and navigate surgeries involving the brain. Finally, MRI plays a crucial role in monitoring treatment response, assessing the effectiveness of treatments such as radiation therapy or chemotherapy for brain tumors. In a nutshell, Brain MRI is a versatile imaging modality that plays a crucial role in the diagnosis, treatment planning, and monitoring of various neurological conditions. It provides detailed, high-resolution images without the use of ionizing radiation, making it a valuable tool in clinical practice. The uses of brain MRI are indeed as vast as they are vital, making it an indispensable tool in modern medicine. Some of the conditions a brain MRI can help diagnose or monitor include a blood clot in your brain, brain aneurysm, brain hemorrhage, brain infections, encephalitis.
brain damage associated with epilepsy, brain tumors and cysts, certain chronic neurological conditions such as multiple sclerosis, MS, dementia, 